Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to do the quest Mountain Daughter. There are no quest requirements, skill requirements, 20 agility. Items needed, a rope, a plank, a spade, any axe and pickaxe that you can use, any kind of gloves that you can wield, besides magic related gloves, slayer, zombie or van braces. And I think that graceful gloves are related to magic because you can store them into your player owned houses magic wardrobe. Also two stamina potions of four doses should be enough as well as two camelot teleports and one teleport out of here once the quest is completed. Where to start this quest? Right here just west of the mountain camp which is located east of Releka in the Fremnic province, located north of Sears village. Here you'll find a rock slide and a guard but he will not let you pass so a bit north of him you should find a little grey path. Go, to, go towards it by clicking it on the minimap and then just north of the guard you should find another boulder. Use your rope on the boulder to let yourself down. Next, follow the path east to enter the mountain camp. Just go east to the most eastern building of the camp and there you will find a quest sign. Enter the tent and go to the chieftain and talk to him. Select the first option, why is everyone so hostile to me? Select the first option again, what are you up to? Select the first option, I will go search for her. After the conversation is over, exit the tent and go a bit south. South you should find a mud pool. Just click somewhere around the edges of the mud pool and you will find that you can dig some mud. Then go north and north of the quest sign there should find a couple of yellow and red dots. North of the tent you should find a pole, pick it up. Then when you have the pole, follow the path north and you will see a lake west of there. Just keep following the path, going west. Keep going west until you see another yellow dot. This yellow dot is Ragnar, talk to him. Then select the first option, do you have any idea where she might be? Next, use your mud on the nearby tall tree next to Ragnar. And now the tree bark isn't slippery anymore. Next, you can climb the tree by clicking on it. Then a bit north of there you should find a clump of rocks. Use your pole on those clump of rocks. Next you should find a flat stone. Use a plank on the flat stone. And then you will cross to the last island. If you move your mouse a little bit to the east you should find a option that you can listen to the shining pool. Listen to it. Then select the second option. Hello, who are you? Select the second option again. What exactly do you want from me? Select the first option. That sounds like something I can do. First option again. I will get right on it. After the conversation is over, use your plank on the flat stone again. And then select the first option. Yes, I, will I would like to return to the shore. Next, we need to report this to the chieftain. 
So go back east and return to him. Talk to the chieftain, then select a second option about the people of Rileka. After the conversation is over, talk to him again, then select a third option, what about the food supplies. And then just never mind. Exit the tent and run west. We are now going to Ralaka. Just go back all the way to the guard and the rock slide. Then click to on the rock slide to climb over and the guard will let you do that. And now you just need to run west and run towards Raleka. Once you've entered Raleka, go a bit north and inside of the big building in the center of Raleka and you'll find a quest sign. Enter that building and there you should find Brunt the Chieftain. Talk to him. Select the first option about Mountain Camp. And he hasn't heard anything about the Mountain Camp. So exit the building and exit Raleka. We now need to go east between Raleka and the mountain camp there should be a wandering uh, messenger we'll need to find him and he has a large uh, walking range so it might take a little while for you to find him so between Raleka and the mountain camp one of the yellow dots is a NPC called Sivdi you will need to find him once you find him, quickly run towards him and try to talk to him. Then select the second option. Can I persuade you to go there somehow? And he wants a safety guarantee. Return to Brunt Chieftain to report this. Back in the main hall, talk to Brent about Mountain Camp. Then select the fourth option. Did it look pretty? Alright, now we need to return to the Mountain Camp. So exit Relica and follow the brown path east and return to the Mountain Camp. This time you are allowed to climb over the rock slide, so you don't need to use your rope anymore.
I'll just return to the mountain camp. Once inside of the mountain camp, go to the most southern tent and open the tent door. South of that tent you should find an ancient rock. Right click on your pickaxe and use it on the ancient rock to start mining it. And you will get half of a rock. Once you have that, exit the tent and a guard will talk to you. So skip through the dialogue a bit and he will let you pass. Next, go north, north of uh, the quest sign of the chieftain's tent. And there you should find an NPC called Jocko. Talk to him. And he, and he will mention a white fruit. After talking to Jocko, return to Brunt the Chieftain to give him the half of the rock. Alright, once again in the main hall of the Raleka, try to find Brent and talk to him about Mountain Camp. Skip through the dialogue and he will give you the safety guarantee. Now you will need to give this to CVD, so have fun trying to find him again. Once you found him, talk to him. And now he will go to Raleka. Next, teleport yourself to Camelot and then run to the Catherby Bank. Once you are at the Cathery Bank, you can deposit your empty vials and a rope and you should bring a couple of food to protect yourself from aggressive Wolves of Combat 26, 38 and 72. Once you have that, exit the bank and go east. We will now need to go to the White Wolf Mountain. Just keep running east towards the farming sign. Then just go a bit north from there, then follow, just keep going north, just keep going north, you should find a path going to a snowy area, go to that snowy area and keep going north until you see a glider sign on your minimap, run towards that glider sign and equip your gloves beside the magic related fan braces, zombie or slayer and south of the gliders you will find thorny bushes. Pick from that bush and you will find a white pearl. Eat it to get a white pearl seed. After you have that, go to the Camelot Bank or the Sears Village Bank.
when you are at the bank, you can deposit your pickaxe and your spade, you don't need that anymore. What you do need to bring is a axe, a plank, your pole, a white pearl seed, a stamina potion of at least 4 doses, and then some food, armor and weapon to kill the combat 72. I suggest using magic or range at, because you can easily safe spot that boss. Once you think you are prepared, return to the mountain camp by running north. I will see you back in the mountain camp. Alright, when you've returned, enter the chieftain's tent and talk to him. Select a second option about the people of Relaka. Then select the second option again about the soup about the food supplies. Next we need to return to S Life, the spirit inside of the lake. So exit the tent and return north. Keep following the path next to the lake until you see the big tree. Climb that tall tree. Then already use your pole and get ready to use it on the clump of rocks. Then use it on it. Then use your plank on the flat stone. And then just click a little bit east and listen to the shining pool. After talking to her, use your plank on the flat stone and say yes to return to the shore. Now we need to return to the chieftain. Back in the chieftain's tent. Talk to him. Now you don't have any proof that his daughter is dead. So return north, back to the lake, and now we need to follow uh, the path around the lake. So keep following the path clockwise around the lake, past the tall tree and past Ragnar. Just keep following that path until you see a couple of dead trees.
right, when you're finally at the other side of the lake, you will find a couple of dead trees. Go stand west of one of the dead trees, the second one. Chop down the second dead tree. And then you will pass. Then go a little bit more west and then chop the little dead tree as well. And there you'll find a cave entrance. Enter it. And then follow this cave. Once you've entered the big area, a pointing arrow towards Kendall has uh, appeared and you will start talking to him. Then select the first option. It's just me, no one special. Select the second option, you mean a sacrifice. Then select the third option, you look like a man in a bear suit. Then select the second option, can I see that corpse? First option, hand over that body to me and he will start attacking you. Then run towards the center, that big square, and there you should find a couple of corpses. You can easily safe spot Kendall by hiding behind some corpses, just like in a fight arena quest. What the fuck just happened? I ate? And just attack Kendall. I'm going to save spot him in the northwestern corner. Alright, when you've killed Kendall, you will get a bear hat in your inventory. Next, go to the southeastern corner of that square or cubic rock and you'll find a corpse of a woman. Pick it up and go back to the northeastern part of this cave and follow this path and return to the chieftain. Alright, when arriving, open the tent, talk to him, then select the second option, but he killed your daughter. Just skip through the dialogue and select the first option, I will. Exit the tent and return to Chuckles' tent. The one just north of the chieftain's tent, and there you'll find three muddy rock spawns. You will need to pick up five muddy rocks. Alright, when you have five muddy rocks, go back to Ashlife the spirit inside of the lake. But first we will need to go to Ragnar. So just return to the tall tree and get one inventory slot open. 
then go to Ragnar and talk to him. And he will give you Ash Life's Pendant. Once you have that, just climb the tall tree. Then use your pole on the clump of rocks. Then use your plank on a flat stone. And go to the northeastern part of this island. Once you are here, just click on the corpse to bury it. Then click to continue. And you will bury it with the pendant. Now, if you use one of the muddy rocks to the burial mount, you will receive 1000 attack experience and 2000 prayer experience. If you don't want that, just drop your muddy rocks and you can't complete a quest. But if you just want to complete a quest, use one of the muddy rocks to the burial mount and congratulations, you've completed Mountain Dollar Quest. You are awarded with 2 quest points, 1000 attack experience and 2000 prayer experience. This was my guide how to do Mountain Dollar Quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.